<laughs> All right, in this week's Health in a Handbasket, registered dietitian and nutritionist Emily Kyle joins us to talk about probiotic rich foods. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. And we know probiotics are hot. They've mm -hmm. been high. It's a $40 billion industry now. Yeah. So people are really interested in their gut health because mm -hmm. we know that it plays a really important role in our overall health right. from digestion to immunity. So people are taking notice and they mm -hmm. want to be proactive and get those probiotic rich Pro foods. Proactive. Proactive. <laughs> that's right. And it's perfect because we do want people to get their nutrients from food. Of course, there are lots of probiotic supplements on the market, but I'm always pushing a food first model. Yeah. So these are three foods we have here today that are rich in probiotics that you can go to the grocery store and give it a try and okay. they might be brand new foods to you but that's why I brought them here is because a lot of times people are a little hesitant to try something new right. that they've never had before so I've got a couple cool things here first up is going to be kombucha yeah. and it's kind of trendy on Instagram things like that and what it is is a fermented tea so okay. all probiotics come about through the process of fermentation so it's a good thing and we we want it because so it's it got a little it's got fizzle in it. It's got a little fizzle in it, and they say if you're pregnant, don't have it because it has traces of alcohol because oh. fermentation produces alcohol. Oh. So we can thank fermentation for wine, things like that. I got, I've never tried this, so I got I one to try. All right, cheers! cheers. You got the nice this little is a champagne lavender glass. melon. I'm not sure. My husband drinks these, and I've always been curious. It's really good. So the you'll see is a little bit bubbly. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Right, it's not too bad. Nice. I mean, they have a million different flavors. You can try mm -hmm. anything, but get brave. Try something different. It's a great way to get those probiotics in without having to take a supplement. And we, okay, I love that because I hate taking pills. Yes. And maybe a lot of people do too. So when would you drink this? Like throughout the day, early yeah, in the morning, at night? The, really whenever you can fit it in, whenever you want to enjoy it. Great. And you don't have to drink the entire bottle right away. You can just have, you know, a couple servings throughout the day. I love it's that. A great way to get it in. So in the middle here, we have a sauerkraut. And this is probably going to be the most common, most affordable, most familiar option for people. Now this whole entire big can of sauerkraut mm -hmm. at Wegmans is $1.59. You can't go wrong with yeah. it. So any way that you like to enjoy sauerkraut, we've got St. Patrick's Day coming yes. up, so a lot of people are going to be. But how you make it, so we make homemade sauerkraut at mm -hmm. home. You just shred your cabbage, you, you create a brine with salt, right. and then that is going to create that fermentation pro process and pro provide those probiotics that we need. Are you serving it up with chicken in your I'm house? I'm serving it up, yep. I <laughs> love, love, love to have some kale with it, and this is actually some pork, and then you just mix it all together. That's, Super easy. That's not a bad way to mix it up with kale. That's, I it's like that really twist. good. I'm gonna have that recipe on my website later this week, because it actually turned out really good. Yeah, I usually have, you know, sauerkraut and sausage. Yes, <laughs> it, well, and that's, either way, it's a great way to get those probiotics in. All right. Last but not least, we're onto our kefir, or mm -hmm. kefir, we were debating <laughs> about how you pronounce that. So kefir is a cultured milk product. Mm -hmm. So you're going to ferment actually the milk and it turns into this smoothie like almost. Yeah. And I know you said you've tried it before mm -hmm. putting it into smoothies. Great, great way to get those probiotics in. And for most people who are lactose intolerant, they find that they can actually tolerate this a little bit yeah. better because the fermentation process actually gets rid of that Yeah, lactose. if anyone wants to try this, I mean, it is like having a milkshake in the morning. Yes, and, and it's a great flavors. addition to your smoothie because whatever you have in your smoothie, you're actually just adding in those probiotics yeah. as well. The theme, fermentation. Fermentation, all this is... that's right. All right, where can people find recipes and more information? EmilyKyleNutrition.com and of course the American Diabetes Association as well. All right, good to see you. We'll Thank See you, you next week. Yes, thank you so much. Weather, traffic, local headlines coming up next.